Hi everybody and welcome back to this is video number two of the uh, the new piece I'm doing for Ronstock 2018 this will be the free print that we're giving out at uh, Ronstock and we also have some really excellent packages that we're doing some special framing packages that we're doing for this piece anyway you're gonna see something a little bit unusual today uh, I'm uh, I, I pride myself on how confident I am as a, an artist but there are times when you know you you haven't done something before so I will actually today try something on on the canvas and I'm going to change my mind and you'll see this happen right away it's not a big deal it's uh, just something where I was kind of experimenting with something I put the bands of this barrel on and normally I would if you see my paintings go where I usually paint the whole scene and then I paint the uh, the objects over top this time I tried it with putting the bands on just so I made sure I really had the um, the actual uh, oval to the barrel, uh, the perspective of the barrel, in uh, perfect. So that's why the bands went on first, anyway. But what that meant was that I didn't put the actual face of the uh, the coloration of it. You see, it's just a blank uh, background that's showing through there. That's not common for me. So I'm actually going to experiment just a little bit right now, and this is what I'm playing with, is to see. Okay, I, I'm doing something different, a little bit different than I normally do. Is it going to work out for me? And I just tried a few little pieces here, and I thought, you know what, yeah, that'll be fine. But uh, I, and here I'm just trying to put this, the try some staves in in the barrel, and uh, then in a second here you'll see I'll start to wipe all of this back out. And the reason was is I should have really put the uh, I should have done the cylinder of the barrel first, and then put the staves on top of it after. It would have been a little bit easier. But uh, uh, it's really actually worked out marvelous. By the end of this video, you'll see it's, uh, it was something that I spent last night. I actually looked at it for about 10 minutes just staring at it. I thought, you know, this really turned out nice. So I'm putting some color in here. I'm going to warm it up a lot. There's going to be some real special stuff. It looks like a bit of a tabletop here. And this barrel is there for a very good reason. I had mentioned that in our framing in the press proofs, we've got some special flask bottles that we're going to be uh, putting into right into the frame of the, the, the uh, press proof uh, frames, but uh, Colleen bought a bunch of these bottles. I thought, well, I actually, it'd be really cool to show one of the bottles in the painting. And the bottle in the painting will actually become the highlight of the whole thing that you'll see that happen. Now this is a bit more normal where I would put some color in here. I'm gonna actually get the uh, shading on the barrel. Now the window is uh, right in front of us, so th this is gonna be the dark side of the barrel. And it could be something Pink Floyd writes a little tune on, I get No, just... Anyway, uh, and uh, the, the, the bottle is going to be neat because if you look at the car up top, the one headlight's missing. And you'll, that, it, you probably saw as I was going along here, this barrel was a great big blank spot in the middle of the canvas. It didn't make sense, but it will now. And also that car headlight being missing, that's going to be behind the bottle. And I, I, I think it's going to be really sharp because... Uh, I put the headlight on that one car as if they were preparing to do a run, a uh, whiskey run, and uh, the bottle will actually have the light shining through it, which will be, should be a really nice effect. So here we go, we're just brushing away, and uh, this uh, barrel, if you notice my brushwork is a lot rougher than normal. I usually do a lot cleaner brush mark uh, in between the staves there, you'll see it's uh, really rough, and that's actually going to be the grain of the wood. Uh, you saw me put wood grain in the Canada 150th and how it, it kind of is, it's a magical thing. This one here, the barrel uh, that I've painted, I, that I got a sample of, I wanted it a little rough. I didn't want it to look like it was all varnished and that like you would walk into a winery today. This, don't forget, this is back into the, the roaring 20s and, you know, they weren't so fussy about things like that. And, and this barrel will actually have spots where... Uh, when they first put the whiskey in, it'll actually leak a little bit in that, and you'll see a, a little bit where it leaked and everything else. Now the red tone I put on the side, I, I kind of have fun with that. Uh, I, I, I'll put lighting in that you might not think belongs, and it's there to make you try and figure out what's going on. 
to me, this old barn that they're they're in would have probably had a, a wood stove or or something going in. It looks a bit like a glow of a fire in the the right hand side of the barrel, just to give you something that's off, that's out of scene that you actually your mind's eye is going to try and interpret, and you can make things up. Now there's one of the leaks that I was saying is these things as they leak they get real real dark almost like black pure black some of the almost tarry looking leaks. Here we go I'm putting some staves in and a little wood grain that, that wood grain there I noticed on the barrel I did is whatever uh, machine they used to mill or whatever uh, to do the stave uh, must have sat for a second and burnt the wood a little bit so these uh, this is a time when you don't have to go super smooth and I think at, th at this point if I would have went really really smooth the barrel would have looked like it was made out of plastic or something. Now this is I'm cutting it in cutting in the, the shadows and putting all of the details in here. It does move along fast and you saw me put a couple of little rivets on the side there that's they're just little dots uh, that happen. But boy does it ever fill in the painting and uh, I think uh, People are really enjoying this. I'm glad you guys are watching it online. Hopefully I'm keeping my videos to the proper length. And so don't forget, this. you come to Ronstock every year and uh, it's on Father's Day weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday. And this will be in a beautiful gicle print. It's a paper print, but it's done on an eight color press. It is a $125 print and we always give you a $25 gift certificate with your free print and that's one for every household not one for every person that comes in but and please honor that because one year we ran out of prints but we will have a lot of people come in and a lot of people picking these up and and this year I think you're going to be very very surprised with uh, the, the frame the frame is going to be out of a rough pine and we've had a special uh, stamp made up so that it'll be stamped on the corner Canadian uh, Club and uh, it won't be the whole logo will actually be kind of like a rough stamp on a, a piece of pine uh, uh, case from a, a whiskey uh, case and uh, it's uh, the package is really really looking good I think it's one of the best we've ever had it's a really really classic looking piece and when you get it on uh, Ron Stock weekend you get a discount on the frame plus you get the print for free so it's a real amazing amazing uh, deal for you and if you haven't been to Ron Stock, we have free music. It's always a lot of fun. Free music, free food, the best cakes in the world, the best hot dogs in the world. I know the Corvette uh, Club of Windsor always shows up every year. So anyway, that's the piece. Look at the difference in that now. All of a sudden with that barrel in there. Anyway, until next time, uh, just enjoy this one and, and keep on giving me your names and titles, okay? Take care, guys. Goodbye.